Hey guys, LC Comics here. So I went to uh, my favourite comic shop. It's not my local one. My local one is pretty shit to be honest. But I went there. It's called Close Encounters in Bedford. It's about an hour away from where I live. And I thought I'd show you what I picked up. So this is like my comic shop haul. So I'm going to start with the new stuff I got. First off, I bought Shadow Man Ray Shremmed. Uh, I was really interested in this because it's a valiant character and a pair of rappers. How is that going to work in a comic? Like, I have no idea. But the artwork is really cool and stylized, and I really like Elliot Rahal. He's a, I really like his writing, and he, he's also just like a really nice guy to speak to, like on Twitter and stuff. He's really good to his fans, so you know that also helped in my choice of picking this up. So yeah, but because of that, the guy hooked me up, right? Oh, this is one of the reasons I love going there. He hooked me up with two free comics that I've, I've wanted for ages. So when Valiant did a bunch of one shots a couple of months back, I think, to kind of celebrate, I think it was their 20th anniversary or whatever, something like that. Anyway, uh, one of these was Immortal Brothers uh, Tale of the Green Knight. This is a variant cover. I don't know which variant it is specifically. And this was, uh, I've wanted this for a very long time. And he just, he was like, oh yeah, if you buy Shadow Man Race Remit, they'll give you this for free. And then, uh, I also saw this other book, and he was like, oh, sure, I'll throw that in too. Which was uh, Bloodshot's Day Off. I guess he had a lot of prints of both of them or something. Uh, but I just thought that was really cool of him to do. These are both, these are two books that I've wanted for a long time. This is also written by Elliot Rahul, which uh, makes me glad that I picked it out. But yeah, it's, it's just really cool that he set me up with those for free. He, he also gave me this for free. I've never read this before. It's uh, Image Plus. I know a friend of mine, uh, Harold, is a big fan of, of the Image Plus uh, magazine. And it's kind of like, it's got a bunch of previews in it for image books, and it also has a bunch of interviews with creators and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool that he'd just throw that in for free as well. Like, really cool guy, really is. Uh, so moving on to the singles I got, the back issues. He, he, he sent me a deal. So basically, there's a series called Dragonlance. It's a, it's a series of books. And he set me up with or well, I found a bunch of Dragonlance issues so but um, a lot of them weren't priced so I asked him oh, um, if I'm getting all these like together can you do me a deal and he was like sure he was like I'll give you each one for a pound because they were all like uh, some of them were 50p but a lot of them were like three pounds so I was like, I'll just give you them all for a pound each and I was like cool so uh, there's issue one Sorry about the lighting, by the way. I have to deal with uh, mainly natural lighting, so. There's issue two. So, this follows a, a book, uh, a book series called The Dra Dragonlance Chronicles. Uh, issue three. And firstly, if you know me, right, you'll know I'm a big fan of fantasy. Issue four. The reason I'm so interested in Dragonlance specifically is because. Firstly, I've read the first book, and my dad is a massive fan of, or was when he was my age, was a massive fan of Dragon Monks, that's issue 5. And so that made me want to pick these up even more because, like, he was a big fan of Dragon Monks back in the day. Issue 6. Issue 7. See, none of these are boarded and most of them aren't bagged which is bad issue nine but I also I don't have I don't have any spare bags and boards I need to pick some up uh, when I have the money and time oh, issue 10 issue 11 and I know some of these aren't in like the best quality but you know, I found them there. I got them at a, a good price, so. Issue 12. So I'm missing issue 8 in the first 12. And then I'd have them all. Drew and I. But yes, so I also managed to pick up quite a few random issues of 
classic Valiant series, which is part of the reason, uh, which is one of the things I specifically wanted to pick up was a bunch of uh, classic Valiant stuff. And I got them for most of them were like 50p each, apart from this one issue, which was Harbinger issue 24, which was 30p. You know, and 30p for a comic, especially if it's Valiant, right? You can't go wrong. You really can't. So yeah, uh, Harbinger issue 24. And then I got one issue of Hard Corpse as well, uh, which is issue 10, which I was really interested in checking out. I'm pretty sure that's Turok on the front as well. Uh, and then I got quite a lot of Shadow Man. Um, Shadow Man issue 4, which was a part of uh, Unity. Shadow Man issue 6. Shadow Man issue 13. Some of these are bagged and boarded. Shadow Man issue 16. And last Shadow Man issue. Uh, Shadow Man issue 23. Guest starring Dr. Mirage. I thought Dr. Mirage was a, a brand new character for Modern Valiant, but it turns out it's not. And then I also got, I think it's one complete story arc of Rai and the Future Force, uh, issue 10. Issue 11 and issue 12, and then see, there's more. And then I got issue two of Secret Weapons again, a series I thought was was only for the modern Valiant, but I guess I was wrong. So it's like a, t I'm pretty sure it's a team book with a bunch of the biggest characters. And then my last classic Valiant book, uh, Archer and Armstrong, issue 24. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool that I managed to pick up all those like classic Valiant books. And then, to some people's surprise, especially Mr. Rang Comics, and I know you're going to be surprised, I did pick up a couple of Marvel books. So, uh, first off is Moon Knight, issue 11, uh, from Huston's run. Uh, this is a really hard run to get in trades, so I saw this issue, I was like, I might as well just pick it up. I like, I, I love Moon Knight, he's my favourite Marvel character, so, you know, why not? Uh, issue 9 of Blade, I got this for like 50p, uh, and I only got it because Union Jack was in it, and I like Union Jack, and also the art style looks pretty cool. And then last of all, is uh, Marvel Now Young Avengers, it's a second print in variant. I only picked this up because I'm a fan of the Young Avengers when Loki's not in it, right? But I thought I'd give this a chance and try it and see if it's any good. I'd, I'm pretty sure the art inside isn't like that. If it is, I'm going to be very disappointed because I don't like that art style. So moving on to the Marvel book, uh, sorry, the DC books I've got now. i only got two. Um, as you may know if you watch the channel I'm, uh, or if you know me, I'm a big fan of Lobo. And I'm pretty sure this is from Villains Month. Um, it's Justice League issue 23.2 but it's also just Lobo issue 1 but it's not Emo Lobo that's why I picked it up because Emo Lobo's a prick I hate him and then I think this is a variant cover but I got uh, Doom Patrol issue 1 by Jared Way DC's Young Animal imprint I've heard so many good things about this right and I saw it for a pound so I was like alright I'll pick it up see if it's any good if it is I'll get the rest in trade so you know, I thought I'd try that out so yeah, surprise, surprise, I got more Marvel books than I did DC, even I'm surprised about that. Uh, and I got two Dark Horse books. Um, I picked up Conan, issue 28, from uh, Kurt Busiek's run. I have I have one or two other issues of this, just random issues. But I like fantasy, so I was like, why not? Just, just might as well. And then Conan, issue 31, with Mike Mignolo as the writer. Uh, if you like Hellboy, then you know who that is. So that's not all I got though. In their, like, I guess bargain part, right? They had a bunch of trades. And they were really well priced, so I couldn't let them up. Now, apart from the first one, they're all valued. So I got Rain Volume 2 for three ninety nine, as you can see on the front. I haven't managed to get the stickers off yet, but I will do that. 
but yeah, I plan to pick the series up for a while because it's like fantasy and I saw volume 2 for like £4 so I was like why not and I'll just pick up volume 1 at a later date and then moving on to the Valiant stuff I got Archer and Armstrong volume 1 which is actually close to where I'm at in the reading order uh, the delinquents is raw for four ninety nine. Delinquents was like is like ten eleven pound online. So I, whereas the rest of them are like nine. So this one I got an even bigger bargain. But I'm excited to read that because that looks like it would be a lot of fun. Uh, Quantum and Woody, Volume One. Uh, again, I'm not up to it in the reading order, but I will do soon. Also, shout out Goat. And last of all. Last item of my haul, Unity Volume 1, To Kill a King. Uh, really excited to read that, I've been hyped for Unity for so long. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to read that. But yeah, I want to say thank you for watching. If you liked the video, leave it a like. If you live near Bedford or Northampton, make sure you check out the Closing County shop. Uh, I really do recommend them, they're such nice guys. You can have great just like conversations with them. Uh, but also they can do you really good deals a lot of the time and yeah like the video if you if you liked it subscribe if you're new comment what you thought of my haul if you want to buy trades or manga or novels online uh, you can do that at wordery affiliate link in the description but yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you next time